Welcome back to Outfit, everybody. My name is Coach Todd. I finally reached a thousand points on my Sephora Rewards program. Oh, big milestone for me. Oh, that's Coach Cole. We got Brooklyn hang out here on the other side. And I want to welcome to the beginning, the first workout of our Outfit Workout Challenge. Um, so today's workout is going to be around a 40 minute workout. We're going to use either one dumbbell or one kettlebell. So Coach Cole is going to be using a dumbbell. I'm going to be using a kettlebell. If you are um, not sure which one to pick, the dumbbell is going to be a little bit easier and a little less technical. So maybe you go with that one if you're kind of on the fence. We're going to start with the strength portion. After we go over our warm up, the strength portion is going to take about 8 to 10 minutes. And then from there, we're going to take a break, explain the conditioning, transition into that conditioning challenge, and then, um, or that conditioning portion, and that's going to take about 18 to 20 minutes. Today's conditioning is scoreable. So you're going to have a score at the end of it. And if you were it, when you make it to the end of this challenge, when you make it to workout number 12, we're going to repeat the conditioning portion. So you can test how you've done after doing all of the workouts through. So we're going to ask that you just leave that score in the comments at the end. We'll remind you in a little bit though. Let's get moving. Coach Cool is going to get us with a warm up to get started and then we'll start covering some movements. So Coach Cool, if you're ready, we are. I'm ready. All right, we're going to restart Todd's favorite warm up. Nice big arm circle with that right hand. Kick your left leg up to meet the hands. Stretch the hamstring out by each side. We get 10 high kicks. If I told you I love this, really, would, would we do it as much? Um, yeah, it because it's really one of my favorite warms as well. I see, okay. Enjoy this as a, get the shoulder working. What does 1,000 points at Sephora get you? Uh, it can get me different things. I'm saving up for as much as I can, but I can get some free skincare or makeup or just tells people that I spend too much money at Sephora. I really hope it does. Once you get your 10 high kicks, we're going to get some in and out hops. What these are going to be, this might be new for us. I don't remember if I've done these before. If they are, they're super fun. You're going to hop up and down. Cool. When you hop up and down, your right leg's going to come up. I'm just going to hop back down. Your right leg's going to go to the side. I'm going to come up back down. We're going to do that 10 times in the right. It's going to look like this. Up, side, up, side. Count to 10. Find a rhythm. There you go. Once you hit 10 on the right, hit 10 on the left. It's a great warm up for your head. Open up the hip flexor. Get a little bouncing in. If you say you not, you can do these walking across the room. Room, room, I say room and people make fun of me for it. Anyway, um, hands on the floor, I want a nice high leg, maybe hit 30 slow mountain climbers, so I don't want our feet hopping. I want us to squeeze our knee up, step it back down. Two, three, four, we're kind of mess like that, but all hit for 30. Keeping that butt nice and tight, keeping your body in a nice straight line. Don't reach the hips from the ceiling, keep yourself down low. Around the core, probably around 15 right now. I would like 30 for everybody. Once you hit 30, feet where you like to squat, chest nice and tall. We're gonna hit 10 air squats. Touch with that body weight. Oh my hips feel nice and tight today. So when you're doing these air squats, we're going to be doing some squats later today. A couple things to be thinking about. Keeping your feet about shoulder width, having those toes, maybe not a little bit, 15, 20 degrees. And then when you're going down and coming up, keep that core nice and tight all the way down and then all the way up. After the last 10 air squats, we're going to get 10 more reps than we done with our warm up. I would like you to put your hands behind your head like you're relaxing on the beach. I would like you to put your feet under your shoulders, soften your knees. Keep your chest nice and proud, sit your butt as far back as it will go, stretch out those hamstrings. Let's hit 10 good mornings for me here. So when you're, good, when you're doing these good mornings, hips go back, 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 back's nice and neutral. You're going to feel tension in the back of your legs. That's how you're going to know that you've gotten low enough. Nice neutral back, tension in the back of your legs. Ready to stand back up, squeeze those glutes to stand back up. If you finish out of the tent, go ahead and grab a uh, drink super quick. Make sure you have your weight somewhere near. We'll start talking about our strength for the day. I believe Todd will explain it, but I'm not sure. Yeah, let's do that. You got about 30, 45 seconds, we'll start talking about. We got four movements we're gonna be doing in the strength portion today. 
<laughs> Again, if you're trying to decide and you haven't already decided, grab a dumbbell um, if you're still thinking about it. But you just need one, one dumbbell, one kettlebell. Okay. So, three movements we're going to be. First one is going to be starting with some single arm swings. Uh, Coach Cole's going to demonstrate with his dumbbell there. You're going to see from the side, he's going to be just like that good morning we were doing, hinging at the hips, setting those hips back. He's going to open up the hips. Dumbbell is going to come up to just about eye level. After he's going to do a few of those, he's then going to be doing some cleans. So roughly the same swing, just keeping it much closer and ending up in this front rack position. That's when the dumbbell is on the shoulder, going back into the hinge and then coming back up. Those are going to be our hang muscle cleans for the day. Once he's in this front rack position, we're going to do some push presses. Push press is going to start with a shallow dip forward, right at the knees, opening up the legs and the hips, finishing with a press overhead. So when we get locked out overhead, try to think about having your thumb facing behind you and your elbow facing forward as opposed to having thumb to the side and elbow to the side. Last movement's gonna be a snatch. So from here, he's gonna again go back into that hinge and instead of coming to the front rack, he's gonna finish in a locked out position overhead. So that's gonna be our dumbbell snatch. You can sit that down, thank you. If you're doing it with a kettlebell, pretty much the same. That's a little bit of a different movement pattern because a kettlebell does have a little bit of a hand insertion when you're doing uh, cleans and snatches. But we're going to be doing single arm swings to eye level. We're going to be doing cleans, finishing in this front rack position. Thumbs touching my chest, elbows down by my side. Back into that swing, cleaning. Back into that swing. For the push press, everything's pretty much the same. Shallow dip, finishing with that press overhead. Press overhead, and then for the snatch, hinging at the hip again, and then at the end, finishing in this locked out position. So, dumbbell or kettlebell. What the format's gonna be is we have eight minutes. Once the clock starts, we're gonna be going, and the goal number one is not to put your weight down the whole time. Not to put your weight down, right? So, we're gonna start with three swings, we're gonna do three cleans, we're gonna do three push press, and then we're gonna do three snatch. That's all gonna be on one side. We're gonna switch sides. Three swings, three cleans, three push press, three snatch. When we go back to our first side, we're gonna add one rep. So now we're gonna be doing four, 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 five, 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 five. So we're just gonna be building up to see how high we can get. But again, our goal is not to put the weight down. Not to put the weight down, all right? Uh, we're gonna start in about 30 seconds. I'm gonna get our clock ready here. I got it. Um, okay, great. So, uh, yeah, so we got about 25 seconds to go. We're going to be coaching you through this a little bit. Uh, one thing, first things first, is just know that you are switching sides. So you are going to get some rest from one side to the other. It's just that you're not going to get rest and that you're going to be putting the weight down. Uh, we're going to be starting in just about 10 seconds. I'm going to start on my left side. My left side is not as strong as my right side, so I like to start on the weaker side. Give me a little bit of confidence going through the workout. We're going into the swings in three, two, one. So three swings, Oops. don't look at me, three cleans. There we go. Coach Cool went straight into snatching. It's feeling, that's my favorite movement of this complex too, so I understand. We get these three push presses in, and then we're into the three snatches. Once we get done with that third snatch, we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So that's gonna involve three swings, Three cleans. Going into three push press. And then three snatches. Get done with that third snatch. We're going back to your original side. And now we're gonna go into the fours. Good. You are just about 60 seconds in. So, with this complex day, we're Really asking for eight minutes of probably non-stop movement. I'll take where you can rest if you need to in a little bit. But definitely not putting that kettlebell or dumbbell down. All right, that would be a great goal for any of us. It's a good goal for me. I think holding on to weight for a long period of time is something that I need to be better at. So if I don't put the dumbbell down for this, um, I'll count that as a win today. If you get breathing and you really need to let that arm rest a little bit, I suggest you rest here, cool? So you can rest at the top of that push press, 
or the top of that snatch, pull whatever um, position your arm is locked out, weights right above the shoulder, so we'll give you more room to breathe. It's a much stronger position and it's easier to breathe in than resting with that dumbbell on your shoulder. Cool. Also, you could stand around the dumbbell, I guess, if you wanted to, but your grip's gonna get tired. So rest with it overhead today. Do a snatch at the end, take three or four breaths, switch sides. Todd is on fours right now. Uh, finish up fours, going into five. Look at him, moving and grooving today. So you're just over two minutes in. So, Coach Cole was talking about resting overhead. At some point, you'll probably start to feel in the next minute or so. So, just in this overhead position. It's not a long time. Quick break, next rep, quick break, next rep. Let you catch your breath a little bit, slow it down a little bit, but still not put that weight down. So between, we have four movements we're doing. Um, three of those four really involve this, hit, this hinge hip. So my cleans, I'm hinging at the hip, and then opening it up. My cleans, hinging at the hip, dropping the chest, and then opening it up. Not for the push press, but once we get back to the snatches, same thing. So, it's all that good morning hinging that we were doing in the warm up, just through the hips, Back stays nice and neutral. The more you can keep your core engaged, keeping it tight the entire time we're moving, the more neutral of that back you're gonna be keeping. All right. You're almost halfway there. Almost halfway there. Again, for a lot of us, just not putting this weight down is gonna be the win for the day or the big challenge for the day. So if that's you, just keep it, keep going. If you're over halfway, which means you have less than two minutes on one side and less than two minutes on the other side. All right, I'm talking a bit, so I slow down a little bit. I'm going into my sixes. Oh, perfect time for me to catch up. <laughs> Not sure if any of you can hear those lovely beats outside, but it's New York City, it's a weekend, there's construction. And ours are real. And by construction, this hotel's been under construction for two and a half years. First two and a half years. So yeah, there's lots of construction continuously. It's gonna be a virgin hotel. Hmm? I've never virgin. I've like never been brand. Yeah, like Virgin America. Virgin oh, okay. Atlantic, the Virgin Brand. So I've never been hotel. I didn't know they had hotels either. Did I? Okay, just about three minutes to go. Doing a great job. Does it say that on it? No. It doesn't say it anywhere, but how do I know that? Yeah, how do you know that? I was making it up. <laughs> Maybe. Someone told me from a very credible source. All right, keep going. Again, if you need to. Try to rest in that overhead position first. Second position you can rest is in the front rack, but ideally, when you're overhead, you get more momentum from whatever swing you're going into, and it's a little bit easier to breathe with weight locked out overhead than having that weight bearing down on your chest. Coming up on about two minutes left. Same move, Morris. What's the best hotel you've ever stayed at? Um, Only one question. I don't know the answer to that question. I will say that Kimpton hotels are almost always my favorite, right? Um, and there's like some really cool Kimpton hotels in San Francisco. I don't remember like their exact names, but how about you? Um, honestly, I would maybe even say this hotel called the One Hotel. I've only ever stayed at the one under the Brooklyn Bridge, it's in like Dumbo. But they have a couple hotels like Miami and stuff. Quite an experience. Whenever I go to Miami, I always like to stay at the Royal Palm. Uh, where is that? It's right, right in South Beach. Uh, you know, like kind of like in the heart of it. It's the Art Deco district. It's an Art Deco oh, hotel. Yeah. 
Okay, hey, we got 90 seconds to go. 90 seconds, which means roughly whatever side you're on, it's probably the last time on that side before you go ahead and switch, and then we'll be done. So you should, if you're on the right, feel a little more confident, trying to pick up that pace a little bit because that right side's gonna be done in a pretty short time here. I also, I mean, it budgets a little better. I've never gone wrong in a W hotel. Yeah, I have briefly was seeing a guy at one point um, compared to going to the Four Seasons hotels. Oh. So I was like, this is gonna be cool if this works out, it didn't, but it could have been fun. All right, we had less than a minute to go. Less than 45 seconds, actually. So we got some rest here. We got a couple minutes. We're gonna rest, grab some water, talk about the movements and the conditioning. So you're gonna have time to catch your breath. So for these last 30 seconds, let's push it. Let's try to finish nice and strong. Don't put your weight down until you hear us say so. Don't cheat yourself those extra five or 10 seconds. Those are the seconds that matter the most at the end of a strength or a workout, whichever one you're doing. The end is always more important than the finish. You got 10 seconds to go. Probably a pretty golden rule, I think, in a lot of things in life. Yeah, but I think a lot of people still. Four, three, two, three. one, and put that weight down. You're allowed to down. Nice job, everybody. Get a drink. Catch your breath real quick. <laughs> so, was it the four seasons or the other Oh, I'm, I'm very sure it wasn't the four seasons. Yep. Yep. Sometimes people confuse. Four oh, seasons. Four seasons. It was not the Lonnie Garden Center. <laughs> uh, next to the adult video store. Um, they've been the Four Seasons Lawn and Garden Center. If you don't know, look it up. You know, you know what we're talking about. Um, they've been selling like lots of merch and apparel. I've seen. And I think they're making a killing on it. Good for them. I love that. Well, I don't know. Good for them. Well, you know, bad situation. Well, bad for who? Not them. They still hosted. Yeah. A bunch of lines and tickets. That's true. At least we don't always take positions. <laughs> Like yeah. that, but I mean that's a, that's the truth. Okay. Um, so we have a conditioning part coming up. The conditioning part is a format. Actually, both of these formats are going to be repeating throughout the course of the uh, outfit workout challenge. So um, that unbroken ascending ladder that we did before, you'll definitely be seeing that again. Maybe instead of ten minutes, we'll get to nine, ten, maybe even a little longer in the actual duration. So we like eleven. 11. Why not? That's a good number. That's another minute. Let's hold on. Yeah. Anyway, do you want yeah. me to go over the workout? Yeah, sure. All right, so we have two workouts today. You're going to do each workout for four minutes. So rest a little bit in between. Then you're going to do each workout for three minutes. Cool. The workouts are both ladders, just like the strength we just did. It's going to make them really scorable for us, especially because we'll repeat this workout um, a little bit down the road. Hopefully, we can see our score go up a little bit. Cool. So today, we'll remind you. Write down your scores. If you don't have anywhere to write them down, throw them in the comments. We'll leave them up forever, and you can go look back. Even if you have some place to write them down, also throw them in the comments. Yeah, it helps us out a lot. Um, and it looks, helps us know what people are doing. Yes. Um, we know what we think people should be doing, but it really either confirms it or lets us adjust programming. Absolutely. Our first ascending ladder, our first four minutes, is going to start off with two reverse lunges. Cool. So, uh, Todd's going to take a nice big step back for me with one foot. We'll notice that his front knee is right over his front ankle. He's taking a big enough step so his shin can be nice and vertical, so his foot can be nice and flat. He uses a lot of muscle. He's gonna push back up on his back foot, step back together, side to side. That was two. Is that two? How are you gonna count two? Uh, yes, that. Each leg yes. counts as one. That's two reps, that's two reps. Cool. After his second lunge, he's gonna pick up his weight. He's gonna hold in goblin position, kind of lower a dumbbell right here by his chest. He's gonna move his feet to where he likes to squat. Toes are really planted out a bit. He's gonna keep his chest tall and go all the way down to the bottom of the squat. Come all the way back up for two goblin squats. Great. Then he's gonna stick his bell down. He's gonna hit the floor in one side of the bell for a full burpee. Hop on over, two foot takeoff, two foot landing. Do it on the other side. Cool. Those are your first few movements for the first workout. You're gonna do two lunges, two squats, two burpees. Four lunges, four squats, four burpees. On and on and on until that clock beats. Cool. Remember your score. Write it down in between, we'll remind you. 
We'll take a minute off and we'll hit our second ascending ladder, which is all for the core. Cool? First movement's gonna be one Russian twist. So Todd's gonna be seated, his heels are gonna be off the floor. He's gonna put both hands together, he's gonna touch both of his hands on either side of his body. That counts as one Russian twist. Cool? Then he's gonna hit one pike reach. So he's gonna lay back on his back. Feet are nice and pointed to the sky, knees are as straight as his body allows him to be. He's gonna squeeze his core and reach his fingers up to his shoelaces. That's a pipe reach. So we're gonna do one. Then he's gonna clasp his feet together. Notice the bottoms of his feet are making a little hand clap area. Bottoms of his feet are touching, all right? He's gonna touch the ground behind his head. He's gonna touch the ground in front of his toes. You cannot touch those two places without doing a sit up. Try it. Yeah, you gotta do a sit up in the middle of those. All right, yes, that's not a sit up. <laughs> Thank you for demonstrating what a sit up is not. All right, that ladder will be one twist, one reach, one sit up, going on up. Don't worry about that. In about 30, 35 seconds, we're gonna hit our two lunges, two squats, two burpees over the bell, going for four minutes, seeing what we can get up to. 30 seconds on the clock. What do we go going here? Definitely double digits, I would love. Love to see if we can get to 10. For the lunges, all the squats and burpees, yeah, definitely yes. double digits. I think for the second one, seven to nine, close to double digits. We'll say 10 seconds. Two lunges, two goblet squats, two burpees over that bell. Five, four, three, two, and we're on for four minutes. Back knee likely touch to the ground, driving through that forward heel, going into the squats, and then two burpees over your bell. Next round is going to be fours. If, if you're not comfortable touching, jumping over the bell, that's fine. You can do one of two things. You may step over if you need to. You may also just step behind the bell and pretend like you're jumping over the bell to still get a little bit of hot motion in. Whatever you feel comfortable hitting at home, in the living room or bedroom. I'm trying to think of where I think people work out at home most. I saw a lot of bedrooms. A lot of bed. Yeah, yeah, a lot of bedroom fitness. Love some bedroom fitness. That sounds a little bit more. Already than I expected it to sound, but once you get through these four burpees, we're gonna be heading into the sixes. Three lunges per side, six goblet squats, six burpees over the bell. So we're working for four minutes. We're gonna rest for one minute, and then we're gonna start our second uh, ascending ladder for four minutes. So you're just over 60 seconds in, so you have less than three minutes to go. Working through these lunges, goblet squats, and burpees over the bell. Super common mistake. <laughs> Super common mistake. Uh oh, this guy, sorry. <laughs> what could it be? Super common mistake. Uh, when doing reverse lunges, he's not taking that big step back, getting that nice vertical shin, and then driving through the heel of your foot, but instead taking a shallow step back. You're gonna notice that my shin's no longer vertical. My knee is now forward. Instead of being over the heel, it's over the balls of my foot. So we don't wanna be in this position. It's gonna shift the movement to be more quad dominant than we want. So you wanna shift your knee back, 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 back. Fix it if you feel that or you can see it. Get it vertical again, drive through the heel of that foot. You're two minutes in, two minutes to go. You're just over halfway. I'm on that round of eight. That means I'm pretty good to get somewhere in the tens. Love to see somewhere around there. All right, again, four minutes over. You're going to have one minute of rest. So you got some rest coming up. So try to keep that intensity a little bit higher if you can. So hopefully you're keeping track. First, we're just trying to score this so you have a reference point when you get to the 12th workout. Second is you're gonna pick up where you left off when we come back to this movement in about five or six minutes or so. So you're gonna wanna know where you finished, 
so that you know where to pick back up. You got 45 seconds. Very good. You got just over 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds. Find that quad burn. Minute of rest is coming. Fifteen seconds. Hang on to that beat. Hang on to the dumbbells. Hang on to the lunges. Keep doing burpees. Wherever we are. All right. You got just about five seconds. A couple more reps. Three, two, one. Sixty seconds of rest. Very good. Put that weight to the side. We just have body weight movements coming up for the next four minutes. But then we'll come back to that. So if you don't think you're going to remember where you finish. Make a quick note somewhere. We're gonna spend this whole four minutes on the floor, doing some core. Oh, sorry, Brian, I hate when I do that. <laughs> so you can sit on down, you got another 30 seconds to rest. Let's go to Brooklyn. Brooklyn's always happy when we're on the floor. Yes, she is. Cool, we're doing one Russian twist. Please tap both sides for me. Keep your hands interlocked. One pipe reach, reach up for those shoelaces, at least your ankle is the goal. And one sit up. And we're gonna go two, two, twos, three, three, threes, in three, two, one. Here we go. So, Coach Cole has his heels off the floor. With those fists intertwined, touch, touch. For here, legs are as straight as possible. So we're gonna reach as high as you can and touch. Bring those feet together, sit up for a sit up. Now we're going into twos. So that's two touches per side for the Russian twists. Two pipe reaches, reach, reach, and then two of those sit ups. Making sure you touch the front of your feet and you touch overhead. After that, we're going into the threes. That's it. We're doing that for another three and a half minutes. Cool. Find a pace here. Our core is going to start to fatigue, start to burn a little bit. We want that. That's how we get stronger. That's the goal. In those sit ups, you cannot touch those two places without doing a sit up. When you're doing things like these Russian twists, we already said heels are off the ground. Um, your fingers are intertwined to together. Don't just reach with your arms. Don't just reach with your arms. Turn the torso and then give yourself a little bit of reach. Turn the torso and then give yourself a little bit of reach. This is supposed to be a core centered part of the workout. So we want you to be twisting through the center and just not trying to throw your arms from side to side. So just about 90 seconds in, a little more faster, a little more fun maybe, depending on what kind of workout you like. <clears throat> I always like to say, squats are king, core is queen. I wish there were names for monarchs that weren't gendered. If you have any, let me know. I can't find any. But those are two more useful parts of fitness in my opinion. What? Say it again? What? The original thing you said? Squats are king, chorus queen. Oh, okay. It's new to me. Okay, halfway there. Two minutes in, two minutes to go. I love squatting. I love the strong core, which is why I love front squats, heavy front squats. Yes. So that goes together very nicely. All right, so you're just over 90 seconds to go. Uh, we're gonna have one minute of rest after this, and then we're gonna be going back to our lunges, goblet squats, and burpees over the bell. Again, picking up where you left off. So, just like you did for the last one, you're gonna wanna keep track where you finish here, because we will end up back here in probably about like five minutes or so. But a little over one minute 15 to go. On those uh, pipe reaches we're hitting, Make sure your arms stay straight the entire time. What Todd isn't doing is bending his elbows and then punching towards his feet. You really want this to be a squeeze in that belly button area to reach up towards those shoes. You're getting stronger. Get those abs coming out for the season. What number are you on? Uh, I am on 12. Hey? I don't know if it's right, but it's what I'm on. <laughs> 
If you are on 12, I don't think it's right, but if you are, that's great. I'm on six, now seven. We got about a little bit over 30. Keep on moving, find that last little burn. All right, we got less than 30 seconds to go. You got about 15 seconds. Let's go, let's go. I'm not done. <laughs> Alright, on. Four, five, four, three, two, last rep, and there it is. There's the time. Alright, minute rest. I got to eight, so Tom is on 36 apparently. Um, I may have got confused. It's okay. Talking, trying to coach, and work out, and count. I can do two things at once apparently, so three things. It's pushing it. We got just over 30 seconds, we're back to workout one. We're on two lunges, two squats, two burpees. We're starting from the bottom, working our way up. It's only three minutes this time to move just as fast, if not a little bit faster. Gotta get as close to our first round scores as we can. That's a good goal. It's very contradictory to what I said, though. What did you say? Start, pick up where you left off. Oh, would you say that? Yeah. Oh, I was thought we weren't going to. 10 seconds, I don't know what to do. That's Todd's gonna tell you which one he wants you to do. I want you to pick up where you left off and you right. kept track. If not, Coach Cole has a great solution for you. I'm on my 10 burpees over the bell and you know where I left off. Staggeringly. Three minutes in, this is the last three minutes for these three movements. Uh, and then we have our core, and then we're gonna get you out of here. So again, we have those reverse lunges, goblet squats, burpees over the bell. Todd just wanted to make me do 10 burpees. <laughs> so yes. Wanted to watch and give you some positive support. Uh, what, what, what pace do we call this, Coach? This is my forever burpee pace. <laughs> okay, 30 seconds in. You've probably got a group at this point. That's the pace you're getting. Hopefully, if we didn't reach double digits last time, since we're starting where we left off, we're definitely in those double digits now. I'm on 12. Get yourself moving. We're already on about two left. Okay, you're 60 seconds in. You got just under two minutes to go. Last time we're gonna be using the weights. We're finishing this off with some body weight. Woo. So for the goblet squats and the burpees over the bell, you got just over 90 seconds, so we're gonna be done with that piece of equipment. Might be feeling that core on these goblet squats. I know I am. Ninety seconds to go. seconds of rest coming up after this round. So a little less rest, but then after that, three more minutes of abs and you're gonna be done. Just because you're getting tired, let's not let things get sloppy. These lunges nice. Yeah. Push through the heel. 45 seconds to go. Looking good, looking good. Just over 30 seconds. Hang in there. Keep pushing. Almost there. Oh, let it burn. Here we go, last 20 seconds. Very good. Finishing 15. Right on through, get every rep. This is a score we're gonna write down, put in the comments. So, get those last couple reps in. In three, two, and there it is, that's time. 30 seconds off, catch your breath as best you can. Find the floor. We'll start where we left off with some abs. I think I'm always gonna eight sit-ups. 
So you got 15 seconds, then we're back in. Almost. Hey. Sit. Sit. Real quick. Four. Thank you. Three. Two. Give us three minutes on the court. We'll count there's a little wind today. Let's get out of here. Nice and smooth. So pick up where you left off. If you didn't keep track or you forgot, you can go back to one, one, one. Good. Oh yeah. So this is all an app focus right here, these three minutes. Um, when we get done with this, if you feel like you need some more abs, you want some more abs, we have 10 minute app videos dedicated to just that ab workout. So uh, you can find that playlist on the YouTube channel if you want a little bit of a cash out or maybe some other time to supplement throughout the week. But you got just over two minutes to go. Let's finish off with these abs. Coach, do you know how far you got in the first one? Yep, for a second. Okay. I got to my like eight lunge in my round of 14. So you did all of the 12s? Yeah. Okay. So, Coach Cole cool got eight lunges into his round of 14. In less than two minutes, I'm gonna explain how he would put that in the comments. Yep. So you can know how you can put your score in the comments. But first, we got just over 90 seconds of that. So let's finish this nice and strong. Maybe a good goal is for you to find double digits in this ab. This last ab three minutes right here. I'm almost in my round of 10, that's sweet. Probably have time for that. Another good round depending on where we're at. Give me a little bit more. Fight that burn, I know. All right, last 60 seconds, last minute of work. Let's do it. Whew. Cool, we came here for a burn, we came here for some fitness. Finish it strong. <sighs> 45 seconds. Use those arms if you're sitting up. You can use them for some momentum. Make sure you tap the front of the foot though. Whatever keeps you moving and grooving. Last 30 seconds. Okay, you got about 20 seconds to go. Remember, we're using this score as a benchmark. We're using this score as a reference point for when we get through all of these workouts. So, every rep counts. It's easy to get a couple extra reps, particularly in this body weight portion. So with just over five seconds to go, let's try and see if we can get two to four more reps. We're finishing in three, two, one, time. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, you got through the first of our 12 workouts. Um, so, Coach Cole got into his 14th round when he was doing eight reverse lunges. So his score is going to be his completed rounds. So he's gonna get 12 completed, and then how far he got into the next round, which is eight lunges. So his score is 12 plus eight. Hopefully that makes sense. He did all the 12s, and then eight reps into the 14. Same idea applies for the ascending ladder for four. Did you have to keep track? It's fine. Yeah. Yes, I was on um, my like, fourth Russian twist of 11. So he, his score would be 10 plus four. He got through all of the tens and then four reps into the round of 11. So using that, figure out what your score is. Go ahead, leave it in the comments. One, you know where it is when you need it in the future. And two, it really helps us um, just know how people are doing. So with that being said, um, a couple things to just know. One is that we're located here in New York City. Um, we have live workouts in Brooklyn and Queens and Manhattan every week. So if you're in the area and you want to come join us, head down to the description and you can find our, our website. Uh, the workout gear that you see is wearing a proud gear and whatnot. Uh, that's also available on, on, on the website, all that gear. Um, I feel like there's one more thing that I say, but 
I don't remember now. So I'll get it next video, next workout. Uh, with that being said, I'm Coach Todd. I'm Coach Paul. And that's Brooklyn. We'll see you next time. Peace.